Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. Sorry about the beanie and the beard, but it's that piece between Christmas and New Year where, well, we call them non-days in our house because they're just comfy clothes and film days. That's it. So on the back of that, I thought we'd do for the New Year a really, really healthy, clean, vibrant um, uh, Tom Yum soup. So king prawn Tom Yum soup um, with a hot and sour sauce, with fresh coriander, um, loads of different mixed vegetables in there. Perfect to kickstart your year. This type of soup, we're gonna make it all, put it in a container, Put it in the fridge at work, I'm gonna pour on hot water. After eight minutes, that will steam itself and you have your perfect Tom Yum soup. Um, so ingredients, really, really easy to mix these up as you want, because um, as long as they're crunchy vegetables, they're gonna steam itself, so it should be absolutely fine. Um, starting off, we've got some lovely lemon. We've got some uh, zucchini or courgette. We've got a little bit of fiery chili in there for a bit of heat. We've got some fresh limes. We've got some coriander. Um, we've got some carrot, spring onion. Um, over here we've got a little bit of salt, we've got a sugar cube, that's because it's a sweet and sour um, soup. You don't have to put that in, but it does actually make a big difference. Uh, we've got a little bit of ginger, we've got some kappa leaves, which are lime leaves. We've got some fish sauce, we've got some chilli paste, or you can use chilli seeds if you want. We've got some lemongrass, some rice noodles, we've got some spinach, some cherry tomatoes, we've got some little chestnut mushrooms, and we've got some frozen king prawns. The reason I use frozen is you want this to last as long as possible on the journey to work, stick it in the fridge, and then it's all ready for your lunchtime. Now, extra veg that you want to add to this, I'm going to be adding a yellow, red, and green pepper, and a little bit of savoy cabbage. Up to you, you want to add, what you want to add. Some um, long stem broccoli, a little bit of kale in there, that would all work as well. So, let's get cooking. First up, we are going to be grabbing a container like this. If you've got anything like this, this is ideal, because you can plonk the lid on. It's got a little air hole on top, so it just carries on steaming it for you. We've got one of those, if possible. We haven't got one of those. Everyone has a thermos. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone has a thermos. Um, these are great, because you can just put it all in there as it is, pour in hot water into the top, and pour it out, the job's done. Um, I'm going to use the bigger container, because I like a big soup. Um, so first up, what are we going to put in? A little bit of lemon and lime. So I'm going to use a couple of lemons in this. Just squeeze that through your fingers. And another lemon. It's a nice sound, isn't it? We're going to go in with a lime. Now, the reason I'm going to put this lime in like this is, this is going to stop it from decolouring uh, throughout the day. So literally one, two, three, four, five segments of lime. Another lime, just going to cut that in half. Um, juice of one lime. I'm going in with three reasonably good sized tablespoons of fish sauce. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five and a little bit of kappa leaves, which is just that extra lime flavour. I've got two tablespoons of fresh ginger there, which I've just grated off. I'm going to go in with a little bit of garlic. One sugar cube, essential. A little bit of salt. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my courgette or zucchini. Get balanced here, shall we? Just going to thinly slice that. Like that. Add that to the pot. A little bit of your fresh uh, chilli sauce. So it's just like a chilli paste. We are going to go in with a little bit of our lemongrass. Now all I do with this is cut a section off. Cut that down. Give that a little snap. Stops you getting all those little woody bits, you know when they're sliced up individually like oh, That's not nice. So just crack that through. Put it in whole. Don't eat that bit, by the way. It's not very nice. We've got some cherry tomatoes. It's up to you if you want to put these in whole or not. Um, I'm just going to cut these in half. Reason being for me is I always find they go hotter than the sun. And you've got like little lava balls that burst in your mouth. All right, just chop them up. Going to add some of our chestnut mushrooms. Just going to cut them into quarters. You want them reasonably small purely because we're only adding kettle water to this. Um, so we've got the hot going to the cold, but as I say, after about eight minutes, those mushrooms should be perfectly cooked and not over soggy. We're going with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of green pepper, and a little bit of red. 
just chop them up into various different size chunks. Chuck that in. Right, now we have our noodles. So a good handful of your rice noodles. Just push them down on top. You want your king prawns. Now, we go in with a good amount of our carrot. But the carrot, it's obviously gonna take a little while to cook, so you just wanna do little slivers. Like them. Chuck them over the top. We wanna go in a little bit of chili. Really slice that thinly. If you don't like too much heat with this, obviously you can leave it out. So chilies over the top. Put that back in. We've got some spring onion. I'm gonna go in with a couple of these. Now I always just cut these across that way. Add your spring onions over the top. A little bit of spinach. And finally, just a little bit of your cabbage. Just roll that up into a circle. Then really finely, just slice that over the top of that, okay? Sprinkle that in. Now the most essential part to me is the, um, the coriander. So a good handful of that. A little bit of stalk in there as well is fine. Sprinkle that over the top. So there we go. Ever so easy to do. All we're gonna do is for that, click our lid over the top. And that is good to take to work. And all you've got to do is pour over boiling hot water and wait eight to 10 minutes. So let's do that. Pour that over the top. Got our chopsticks, it's gonna push that down, push that around, push that down and push it around. On with your lid, close that down, and that's it. Let's wait eight minutes. Right, you can really eat this just out the top if you want to. Um, just give it a quick stir through. With the king prawns, I forgot to mention earlier, I use pre-cooked and then frozen king prawns. Just means they're gonna cook a lot, lot quicker. That is so good. Right, so I'm just gonna get a bowl. So if you're eating this at home, you're gonna to wanna to serve this up. So there we go, perfect, clean, very healthy, detoxing Tom Yum soup. Eat that for 30 days for the month of January if you can. Um, hopefully you'll get addicted to it because it's the perfect lunch and you'll feel so much better each day without having all those heavy carbs and stodgy sandwiches for lunch. Um, have a great new year everyone and I shall see you soon. I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. This is my second part of my easy side dish. Um, today we're gonna be doing some green beans. We're gonna do that in almost like a tapenade, olive type dressing. Um, really simple, easy, let's get cooking.